Welcome back, guys, to more Lies of P. Let's keep it pushing. Let's head back to the cathedral. Inside the house on Elysian Boulevard. One of these days, I'm going to go back there and try to figure out what we missed. But right now, I'm focused on getting through the storyline as fast as possible. So, I can do that at a later time. All right, so we talked to this lady over here. She said to get her the mark. Um, holy, holy mark or something? I can't die. But perhaps this can help me live again. Please, bring me the holy... Yep. Okay. He did run through here and there was nothing in there. Is there a fire? To burn that away? I don't see one. I'm pretty sure that opens up later. It must be, right? Right, let's see what's here. Oh shit. What did I step on? Oh that. Okay. So we need to look out for that. Feeling that was gonna drop. I love the range on this weapon, bro. Some holes in the ground. And I avoided all the things that dropped. Um, we obviously can't kill her unless we throw something, but why waste the resources? Ooh, there's a chest down there. But is there anything that's gonna kill us down here as well? They don't usually give you Free chest like that, and is that fall gonna give me damage? Fuck it. Damn, a lot of damage. Might be a trap. Bro, I need. Oh yeah, see these things? I'll shoot you. So I can't step on any of those. There we go. Advanced crank. Is that always glowing like that? Anyways. Okay, there's the way back up. I think we need our everything that we picked up here is for the Legion arm. place is cursed, it is the abyss of hell, you cannot leave, the only thing waiting for you is despair. Look how fast we have to read those things, bro, they always disappear. Oh, it's a shortcut we saw behind us. Some more money. They call it the armor of God, you arrogant ones, you have called the wrath of God upon yourselves. I say, 
can't really make it out. Alright, let's run past her. Her aim is pretty bad. Oh, she does turn around. She didn't turn around before. Okay. Gotta watch my step for any traps. Like this. Yeah, I got you now. Oh shit. Another legion thing. Alright. So how much of these things fall from the sky, bro? I'll get more fatal catalysts. Oh, see, that's the thing there, you can push into the water. Got our friend here. Take them out ahead of time, so I can read this. This is why the cathedral was built and remembered pilgrims worship the merciful angel. Okay. See a ladder on that side. Okay, go through there. Wow. Oh, wow. That was while I was doing that, the decay was going back down. It's crazy. Okay, since I have to do this, let's go and fight that guy. Why is it not on fire? It should be on fire, right? Whatever. Is there anyone else coming to hit me from the back? Pause. Let's go! First try, let's go, and I got my heal back. Oh my goodness. That was scary. See, that's the kind of enemy I thought would pop out at that other place when the lady broke through the wall. Is this where we came from? Yeah, we ran through there. I see an item up here though. Wait, where do we drop down? I guess we can break those boxes above. Oh, it's a ladder right there. And this is the elevator. Okay. Oh shit. See? That's the BS I'm talking about, y'all. Imagine I had no heals. Or if I wasn't able to heal. 
before that. Okay, so it's over here. Where the drop down was. Yeah, some boxes. Okay, Germany's protection. It just gives us the money back. Is there anything else up here before we take the elevator? I mean, there is a staircase. Ah, okay. Let's save that elevator for last. Ah, there's the thing. Declare the uh, poison. Yeah, we can push it. Let's see if there's any secrets there now, like the last time. I don't see any staircases. But we don't have to worry about the poison. Oh, there's a gate. Yeah, that's how you open the gate. I told you. If that's the same gate. And there's a staircase. So what's this? Oh, it wraps all the way back to where that lady was, the uh, the nun. Okay. But there is more to this place, right? Over here. Oh, shit. See, I didn't even mean to jump there. I just <laughs> instinctively jumped. Didn't even know what I picked up right there. I think it said an ampoule. Is this the same thing I saw? No, it's not. Or maybe it's from the other direction. Yeah, it is. And that's the boss room right there. You can tell. You can always tell it's a boss room from that glowing uh, fountain or basin. More money. Yep. I knew that door could open, bro. You just had to. It's right here. And this is our shortcut. Straight to the boss, yo. I mean, this boss is probably insanely hard to beat. Um, there was something else I saw, though. Far be broken through here. Yeah, it was this side, yeah. There's another room there. Archbishop's diary. Cecil is unwell again. Oh, that's the nun downstairs, right? Damn, okay, so he's talking about her. Today, the Adams brothers found her standing like one of the dead at the edge of a cliff and brought her back. If it's mild sleepwalking, it's fine, but I'm worried it's her old blood compulsiveness again. What? I know about her strong beliefs better than anyone else, so it's really too bad. God will be glad um, with the atone. Perhaps I should ask her for atonement for visiting the Isle of Alchemists. Huh. So she had a blood compulsiveness before the uh, sickness that's plaguing the land. Okay, I have the relic in my hand. Thanks to Cecile, I won't let those bastards ruin Krat anymore. This will purify the city. Maybe it was a mistake to accept those guys from the beginning. This disaster was divine judgment. They should have been turned away like all those 30 years ago. But this will be the end. Krat is a city blessed by God, and I, Andreas, will come to its rescue. He has the relic. What relic? The holy mark that she talked about? Why me? Oh, I guess he caught the disease. The petrification disease. So. She still is 
alive and doesn't have the disease. Maybe she does have it. But he said she was acting crazy even before that, maybe. Okay, what's in here? Oh my goodness. Oh god. Setting us up, bro. Oh, this is his room. His office or whatever. Surprised that didn't close in on me. Oh, the holy mark. Let's go ahead and read that. It's most likely in collectibles. Um, a holy mark obtained from the archbishop's room. It's the archbishop's item that Cecile wanted to see in her last moments. The archbishop was such a man of character that they called him the Saint of Croc. They say his moral influence even made murderers repent before God. That's his diary. Got some items. I think this is maxed out at three because I keep picking this up and I don't see more than three in my items. Okay, we might need to use this for the boss, depending on... Well, no, everyone here is filled with acid, so we need the fire. I'm gonna use the flame thing on my arm. As much as possible in the boss fight. Alright, what else is here? There's usually good stuff in this vault. Strengthening frame. It's this one. Heavier by 3.2. More physical damage reduction by 4.25. Let's keep that on. Um, we need this because everyone has acid, right? I think this one does acid as well. Alright, our weapon is plus four. Okay, let's go and get our heal back and go straight into the boss battle, yo. Wait, we can drop down here? Oh, is this where the guy dropped down and tried to kill me? Bastard. Oh, we can walk on this, too. I don't think there's any other secrets. Oh, no, I have to go all the way around. And there's no ladders in here. Oh, wait, what about the elevator? Should I do this before the boss battle? Yeah. Let's do this while all the enemies are dead. And it's going up. I have half my health, no heals. So whatever happens. Damn, we'll have to run back. I can't find the way out. Monsters everywhere. I need to grab my share and leave. Hmm. I only have 1,700. That's not bad. Okay, he's good. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's odd. I thought I was the only one with a sound mind here. I'm sure, I don't need to introduce myself. Note these golden wings. Yes, you guessed it. You don't know who I am. 
Preposterous. Everyone in Kratz has heard of me. Do you live under a rock? Ali Doro. I'm Ali Doro the Hound. Treasure hunter extraordinaire. Yes, yes, it's a nickname. I ditched my real name in the past. I'm looking for other survivors of this disaster, but it's uh, been a lonely search, and there's danger around every corner. Do you know of a place where I can take refuge? Preferably someplace clean and comfortable, you know, civilized. Well, the Nini works. It's safe now, Hotel Krat. <laughs> Hotel Krat, of course. A haven for all, and it's still safe and sound, you say. I have a lot of searching ahead of me, so why don't I lighten my load? Consider this an act of charity. A thank you gift. Take it. Mm, another one. I mean, she really need that for the boss, bro. I'm gonna have to switch that out. Since you're so helpful, I'll give you a peek at my collection. Show me what you're worthy of. What? Kill strong enemies to gain rare ergo. Alidoro is a treasure hunter who collects this rare ergo. You can exchange it for Alidoro's precious weapons or amulets. Oh, the boss weapons. Okay. Holy Sword of the Ark. That is a great sword. With C technique scaling, B motivity. You've been focused on technique, I think. Technique is an A on this one. This is a dagger. I hate daggers. They're usually weak. Yeah, this is really weak compared to this one. This one is technique C, motivity. Um, it's called the parade. No, you get this from the parade leaders. Ergo. Seven Carl Spring Sword. Dancing one's amulet enable dodging even with low stamina. Huh. Extreme modification amulet from the broken heroes ergo. This one's from the parade leader. Increased weapon attack in proportion to number of fable slots. Mm. So if I get, I have four fable slots now, so I guess that increases it by four. An amulet that could be equipped. Oh, this is from the Watchman. The scrapped Watchman was an experimental piece modified to the extreme to test how far Crotch engineering skills could go. The result was impressive, but ultimately came at a cost. Conquering amulet. From King Fuoko. Also, these two are from King Fuoko. Upon successful parry guard, temporarily increases damage inflicted by weapon attack. Nice. It's kind of hard to get parry attacks though in this game. This looks cool as hell. Um, damn, I wish it was technique scaling but this one is the sh no this one is the strongest but it's um how heavy is it oh it shows the attack the fable arts seven explosions a strong downward blow when you cut downward, multiple explosions will deal damage to the enemies in front of you. It sounds like you can't use it on a boss though. Well, you can, but it's most likely for defeating enemies coming towards you. Single stab, gather your strength for a big forward piercing attack. Patient smash, gather your strength for a strong hit. Hold down the attack button to activate a stronger attack. Okay. Nothing about the oh the weight is showing 16.3, 7.9, 18. Damn. Uh 
I'm gonna buy this one for sure. I don't want to dodge. I don't want that weapon at all. It's a dagger. This seems cool though. Increasing attack power, I'll take that. This also seems cool. Wait, the weight says 21. Oh, I'm so dumb. It's because this is showing the top half. So it's 21 and this one was 18. Okay, so it is less heavy than this. This could be good if I get good at parrying a certain boss. So let's buy this. That could help me in a pinch and fighting like the boss of this area. As a descendant of aristocrats, the very best families, I have a duty to the common people. I live my life fulfilling that duty. And part of that duty is ensuring these items are returned to their rightful owners. What I'm showing you is just a portion of the collection. If you come to the refuge, we'll be able to continue our confabulation. Until then... What refuge? Remember this hound when golden wings shine. Oh, you mean Hotel Crot? Since you're so helpful, I'll give you a peek at my collection. Alright, so anything else up here? I like the view though, you can see... Um, I think that's Hotel Crot right there, and that's the railway system. The tram. So it goes all around. Just in a circle. On the borders the borders of the city it doesn't go to Benini works it's just outside of the city with the bridge connecting them what's that over there in the mountains it's a whole other city bro where's the moonlight town No, we are at the tippity top of the mountain. I guess it's at the other direction. Anyways, let's go down. Get our heels back. Then we'll end the episode and face the boss in the next episode because that could take a while for me to beat. So we'll have to learn his attacks. See what works, what doesn't work. Also should test out this new sword I bought, seven coils. Um, I think I have to go this way to get back to the start. Perfect. I think we cleared everything out. Now we can run back. And get yeah, enemies were on this side so they won't interfere with us when we run to the boss. And sing praise for a new saint has arrived. I Saint Andreas will consecrate this land. really worship this guy bro they have statues and statues all about him oh let's give the lady down here the mark first that we got from his office let's see what happens oh thank you just seeing the archbishop's holy mark renews my spirit it's a reminder of the quiet power of faith i'll remember this forever stalker 
attribute resistance ampule. It's a reminder of the quiet power. That's it. Whatever, bro. I was hoping she would like I don't know, help us in the battle. <laughs> um how much money do we have? Let's go to Hotel Crot. Test out the new weapon. I did buy a bunch of moonstones and stuff so we can upgrade it to the base level. I only have 1.7. But I could crack open those items. The ergo crystals and get more money. But before we do that, let's test out. Wait, why is this glowing? Is it always glowing? I did purchase the other thing. I don't have any upgrades. I guess that always glows like that. Switch to this. Okay, so it doesn't have a handle. It's just straight up great sword. Yeah, it says cannot disassemble. Scales with motivity. Uh, okay, so right now it's at 129 plus 45. It's 50 less on physical attack. The fable charge is only four less and it hasn't been upgraded yet. It looks cool. That slam on the ground stops me from doing the third swing like with my current weapon. So I only get two swings. What about the R2? Ooh. I held it down. What about a regular R2? Swipes up. Let's do a running. What about a running R2? Oh, snap. I love that. Right, let's test out the attack. 214? 223. Ain't no way. 270. Okay, consistent. Four sixty one or seventy nine. Now, hold on. This is a plus four weapon. Two sixty six and three fifty eight. Okay, two thirty six. Oh, this is stronger. Oh, wait, let me let him get his health back. Yeah. I oh, don't know, bro. I want to upgrade this. Let's see what the special LB plus Y. So it has a buff plus a special attack. Let's try it without the buff. Ooh. 
Okay. Let's do the buff now. Wait, it's an attack. Is it? What the hell? So if I do this. Oh snap, it is a buff. He immediately breaks. No, I did that wrong. this he immediately breaks no matter what 436 now when I do this it's the same thing so what's this thing hold up let me read guard par oh it's a parry what Time the enemy's attack correctly to deflect it and trigger a powerful attack. Oh. Bro, I have to get used to parrying already. You know what? No, that was not what I wanted to do. Time though. Yeah, I'm leveling this up a hundred percent. I think it has the potential to be stronger at level four than I know my way around a weapon. What I have now. Want me to look at something? Okay, I have a bunch of. Wait, it immediately needs dark moon moonstone. It doesn't use regular moonstones. Now it's gonna take two. Ooh, it's 214 plus 29 attack power. This one is 189. So it's, no, it's a no brainer. I have to use this for the boss. And I can't alter the handle on it. Or can I? What? Can I make it more technique? Because right now the technique crank is down. Or is it up? Oh, okay. I understand this now. I can change this from a B to an A. Because it is motivity already. You can turn this from a C to a B. In technique. Because I am currently technique heavy. But is that good to do though? It's also going to lower the motivity to a C if I do that. Damn. I don't know if that's worth it. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Let's look again. If I increase the motivity, the physical attack goes down. That's crazy. But if I do this, the technique goes up plus five. Mm. 
Only plus five, let's not waste a crank on that yet. What I do want to do is crack open some of these uh, these things here and upgrade my stats before the boss battle. I think it's worth like 2.5 to upgrade. So that should give me two levels. Um, I guess I could put them in technique. I'll use my power. I didn't pay attention to how much it was affecting my stamina using the weapon, though. Oh no, it takes three thousand now to level up. Put the physical attack up three. Oh, motivity goes up four because it is a motivity weapon. Yeah, it makes sense to do motivity with this. time do I have enough to get 3.5 I think yeah I do I think that's enough but let's pop this one just in case I'll use my power Yeah, just enough. Yeah. It's only going up by plus four though, bro. Do need more vitality. Fuck it. I am a balanced build, so no matter what weapon I get, if it's motivity or technique, I'll have the stats required. Alright, looking good. I guess we can teleport back. That's it for this episode guys we cleared out the library completely we just need to face off against the boss and it is this way wait so we can't run straight to the boss no yeah we can we can just off to the right after we run past the gate all right let's see how this new weapon works guys I'm excited See how much tries it takes to beat the boss in the second, in the next episode. I'll see you then. Peace and out.